Charlie Murray and welcome back to the Jedi Consular episode 32 and 33. Well, maybe a 34, who knows, but there's probably going to be a 32 and 33. Last time we recovered Lemda from the grasp of, I forgot his name, that's terrible, friend Mesa, where Lemda is researching the link between the huts and the ground quakes because the ground quakes didn't, uh, didn't begin until the huts arrived, so... And we need to go and speak to Shalem Avesta, who is the uncle of Lemda. So, let us go inside right... What happened? This is nothing, uncle. I've run the numbers. Two days, maybe less. And your office is at the bottom of a sinkhole. At least your expensive education has finally amounted to something. Told wow! You pay that loan. Bet you're wishing you'd listened to me sooner, not dismissed me as a loudmouth conservationist. Wow! Master Jedi, Lemda told me of your incredible rescue. Words cannot convey my thanks. We suspected McKev was becoming unstable, but I had no idea things were this bad. We never should have let the Hut Cartel establish their mining operation. You held back a lot of bad news, Shayla. Why didn't you tell us about the planet's instability? I didn't want to cause a panic. The Keb's people must stand together. Only through unity can we overcome this crisis. Know what doesn't help right now? Speeches. Unless I'm talking. <laughs> the regulators who held me hostage were a chatty bunch. Mostly filthy language and bragging about their blasters. But the leader said something interesting. He mentioned Project Failsafe. A hut emergency plan if their mining went wrong. That mercenary believed the huts have something to instantly stabilize McKeb. That's a dumb mercenary if he's saying things like that out loud. You know, saying plans out loud to potential prisoners who could escape and tell me about it. Could anyone stabilize an entire planet's core and crust instantly? It doesn't seem feasible. Agreed. But the cartel has top-level scientists on their payroll. Who knows what they might have discovered? Millions could die while we wait for the huts to act. We need to claim Project Failsafe for ourselves before it's too late. Talau City, the Hut Embassy database. Ilasov's right. Data on Project Failsafe would be stored in the Hut Embassy's computers in Talau City. Unfortunately, that's under cartel control. I can sneaky sneaky. Talau to City's former security commander. He and a few loyal men have a hidden camp outside the city. They'll get you inside the city and embassy. If only if you could actually say it in conversations. Hey, yeah, no, don't worry about that. I can just stealth in. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. But no, no. Shanda isn't that smart. Well, I should say, Bioware obviously is smart enough to not put that in conversation. Because imagine how that would sound. How does a security chief know the way into the Hut embassy? Urquil set up the Hut's original defenses. He built it. He knows how to break it. The Hut's control to Lao City and the surrounding area. They'll have to land a shuttle in the countryside. Expect plenty of regulators. Chief Herkwell's camp is hidden with these coordinates. Don't die. You're all we've got. Words of encouragement there. Don't die. Well, I, I, I wasn't planning on it, but, well, I guess I'll just have to try harder, won't I? Level 55! Why did I take that quest? Now I can't get 12 times XP! God, I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! <sighs> Why did I just do that? I completely forgot to stock up your experience boosts. <sighs> your quests even. Oh god, I'm an idiot. But hey, we're now level 55. Wonderful. God, I'm seriously, seriously, seriously an idiot. I'll just have to remember to do it on previous characters that I have. So, never mind, eh? I guess maybe we'll, we'll do some of the side missions. Hello, Droid, popping in. Um, yeah, what side missions do we have? We have Tabora's Courtyard. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm so depressed this whole episode now that I just... Oh, God, I'm stupid. So stupid. Black screen, go away. Go away, black screen. God's sake. I mean, I get 52k, and that, look, look at that. That that will only get me to like there. It's gonna take forever to level up now. Oh. Anyway, I guess we'll see what nobilities we have. Project rank eight and whirling blow rank five. <sighs> Come on, become discovered. Come on now, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Hello, Herkwell. Chief Urquil, 
Shalem Avesta sent us. He says you know a way into the Hut Embassy. A real live Jedi Master. Now we're talking. Pardon the stink. Haven't been near a shower in days. Uh, Hut Embassy's locked up tight. Used to have a fancy pants bureaucrat helping us inside, Representative Eklund. But he's gone quiet. Probably dead. Good news is, the cartel hasn't changed anything at their embassy. Got the same turrets, droids, passcodes I set up for them. Lazy huts. Why does the Hut Cartel have an embassy on Makeb? Much less one that well guarded. The Business Council built it when the Huts first came to do business here. Thought it would make the slugs feel appreciated. You want inside the Hut Embassy, you'll have to finesse three layers of security. First layer is heavy turrets in the courtyard. The only good thing to come out of these ground quakes is that they expose the turret power generators. Overload those, and turrets lose their punch. Our mission would be a lot simpler if we could take down the entire power grid. Even if I knew how to cause a blackout, the city's computers need energy, and you need computers. Security layer two is the embassy's main door. Three meters of reinforced Durasteel. Even a lightsaber would take hours to cut through. But the door will unlock for a diplomatic passcode. You can generate one by accessing the government building secure terminal. Get inside the government building, slice the secure terminal for a passcode, and get out. Next. Last but not least are the security droids. Top of the line Arcanian models. Nasty disposition. Shoot intruders on sight. Good news is they can be reprogrammed. The droid control station in my old security HQ will do the trick. Do I need computer spikes like I did in KOTOR? I don't think so. Turning the droids against the huts will be poetic justice. You've been most helpful, Chief. We're going in. Hit those objectives and I guarantee you'll get inside the embassy. Whether you find your answers is a different matter. If Representative Eklund's still alive, maybe help him escape? He's a fuss budget, but basically all right. I'll keep a comm channel open when I can. There's no maybe about it. I'm a Jedi, I help people. I must save him. I must. Alright, let's do some side missions Sir, then. I've asked Chief Herkwell three times. They can't spare anyone. Will you please come back now? Nah, it's practically cozy out here. So Herkwell's men aren't an option. There's gotta be someone else back there with you. Use your eyes, Cash. There's a Jedi right there, Master Jedi. Hi! You have a minute? Cash Zarin, Logistics Specialist Tefani. We're with the Protectors, Republic Med Corps, 2nd Battalion. Official evacuation forces for frightened civilians everywhere. I assume you didn't come up with that title yourselves? Nah, some orphan kids from Corellia started it. Just kinda stuck after that. Big seismic event coming up. We're talking big enough to devour Talao City. Gotta get those people out now if we're gonna beat the clock. Problem is, Talao City's on lockdown. The Huts have turned all the keys and put the regulators on street patrol. I think one of them's eyeing me now. What are you talking to me for? Run back to camp before he sees you. Thank you. The regulators aren't a problem for me. They're a problem for our evac. They're sitting guard on some buildings at the corner of Crown Quake and Epicenter. If the quake hits where the buildings are still full, well, it'll definitely lower the property values. We need the mercs out of our way so we can evacuate. Just point me towards the buildings and those mercs will be history. I'll transmit you coordinates as soon as the seismic scan is done. Uh-oh. Better hang on to something. That was a warning. And we're not getting another. Cash, get the speeders ready. Our reinforcements will clear the mercs and get inside the buildings. Once you're in, hit the emergency alarm. The sieves will run out, the speeders will pick them up, and we'll all meet back here to shake hands. Sound good? I've got plenty to do on this planet before it falls apart. Don't we all? Here are the coordinates. Speeders are fueled up and ready to go. We'll be in position when you are. Okay, Steve Blum, I'm on my way. HK liked that we're going to go murder people. Classic HK. You got anything to say for yourself, HK? Statement. There is nothing to discuss at the present time, Master. We should resume deleting troublemakers. Are you a Cyberman? Hello City. Now the question is, how do I get about going over there to trigger the evacuation alarm? Uh, oh. Just, just, just by going this way, I guess. Ready. S simple as that. <laughs> Everyone evacuate! There we go. Evacuate District 1. Oh, we've got to evacuate so many districts. Oh, joy. No one panicking at all? Why there's a, an alarm sounding? No, you're just all going to stand there and just do nothing? Alright. Hello, little droid! You are right. There you go. That's the first one done. There should be two more around here somewhere, but I want to go back to self. 
Thank you. You can just go to sleep. Yeah, you just go to sleep while I pick this up. Oh, God damn it, you saw me? How the hell did you see me? Oh, well. Oh, you're dead. That was quite easy. But there we go, and now we got the third one, and then we got to go to District 2. Lovely. Oh, there's a side mission here. I wonder what this is going to be. Uh, probably find some people, probably locked away. <gasps> Little jinxes! I can't be bothered to do that achievement. Uh, what we do, we're paid for shuffling people between the secure locations. Da, 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 da. Download civilian internment data. Alrighty, I would read it, but the reading ones I just don't really care about, but... Everything else? Eh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill you, aren't I? Yeah, because there's no way I'd be able to sneakily pick this up. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Oh, it's working! Yay! Lovely, thank you very much. I've discovered a city held hostage. What have I got to do with that then? Um, come on, come on. Oh, it's a Heroic 2 as well, or an Area 2. Defeat Talos Reinforcement. I mean, it, yeah, it's got it's got a lot of experience, but... I, can I can I really go through this with just me and HK? I mean, I suppose I could. I'll give it a shot. So I just spent a good chunk of time in this area to do this area too, but unfortunately, there's no way that I can do the solo because I managed to get all the way to the very last point, but I need to destroy the hover tank. But there's no way I can do that because it's a champion and you'll have enemies attacking you. So, yes. I haven't shown you all of that, but just know that I failed. But hey, I can continue in getting the data and evacuating the districts. So, that's a good thing. Oh, god damn it. Wait, I can just kill innocent Talo City citizens. You should really get dark side points for that because you're killing innocent people just for the fun of it. That should be a dark side thing, seriously. That's that one evacuated, and we need one more evacuation area, which would be over there. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Shh. Engaging the enemy. Really? How did you see me? I was around the corner. Oh, God's sake. What is that annoying noise? Oh, it's their little... Oh, it's the, the sort of sirens. Okay, well, that's cute, I guess. Is it just this one thing I've got to... Oh, there's a cutscene now. Lovely. Okay, last building. Come on, everyone. Single file. Not too fast. Not too slow, either. Get your hands off me, blasted Republic interlopers. I know my rights. I'm not going anywhere. Well, I'll be oh, those uncle. people. I knew we'd find your building sooner or later. It's Roop, isn't it? Why? Gonna steal my identity, too? Roop and his family are old friends. They send the Protector strongly worded hollow messages before every Maccab evac. Seems the Huts promised them bonus pay if they stayed inside. Roop here thinks we're trying to cheat him out of his credits. I say those people, I mean like people who just refuse to leave for some stupid reason. This one is to get money they will not get. What do the Huts gain by making their workers stay in dangerous areas? Our combined weight helps maintain a structural integrity. Or something. What? I could name ten things wrong with that sentence. Half of them aren't even engineering related. The rest of you can cut and run if you like. But me and mine are staying right here. It's quadruple overtime, people! Need you outside, sir. One of the speeders blew a hover pad on the way back. Talk him down, will you? Or bribe him. We're good for it. Meet you back at base. You show me an order from Vice Commandant Grevin, my foreman, or Taboro himself. Otherwise, I'm not moving. We have to leave. There's no more time to argue about this. What will it take to make you leave this building? I want my bonus. Unless you've raided the hot treasury, I know you don't have it. The Republic will compensate you for your lost bonus pay, whatever percentage you want. All right, how about a little now to prove it? Oh, fine, here you go. Wow, you weren't kidding. Doesn't matter to me where the creds come from. Point me towards the exit. You gonna share it amongst your people? No, you're just gonna keep it all to yourself. KK, KK. Uh, now we need to return to Zash Saren. Well, we've got that mission down. Let's move on to the main one. <laughs>